Greetings and salutations, everyone. I am Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. You may be wondering what I'm doing with this big pile of cash. And what is actually happening is I am recreating a video from yesterday, sort of, because I had the best video. It was, it was a cash counting, cash stuffing, cash gratitude savings challenge and I forgot to hit record so I have definitely hit record this time I can see my little counter moving up and after a day full of being grumpy that it didn't work I am trying again because it was a good video and I think there's something else I can add to it so what I did yesterday I completed four icons on my gratitude challenge. I put them in this handy dandy little bank that I can't get into, which is why I can't recreate that part for you. And I made each icon worth a hundred dollars because I had saved, I believe it was, um, 575 or so in little black envelopes just since the beginning of the year. Some of it was rollover from last year, but I set aside cash in these envelopes and I decided I wanted to use them for gratitude challenges. And I have here 40 of the 100 envelope saving challenge envelopes. I am actually folding them myself out of this great origami paper because I am advocating for myself right now, use what I have and don't buy things that are new. And I say that, as you can see, this um, brand new pink, can't open it without a screwdriver tearing it apart bank next to me, along with a cash stuffing binder, which I haven't started yet. I only popped all the holes out and have the stickers hanging out back here. I don't know if this is what I'll use for budgeting. I'm not a cash-based person. I pay with debit cards almost all the time, so I'm not sure how that's going to work out. But I figured I can do the envelope stuffing. Then at the end, maybe we'll talk a little bit about how my budgeting is going to go. So what I have for cash right now is 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 5, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 78, 178 dollars. So I have 20s and a 5 and some 1s. I am going to, let me just pick out an envelope at random here, 24. So I'm going to stick... One, two, three, four, perfect. And so these origami envelopes are pretty easy to make and actually really effective as cash envelopes. They probably take up a little more space than average because I am having to fold the money twice. And I'm adding little hearts up here so I can easily tell which ones are filled and which ones aren't. Sticking them back in, in this handy dandy little plastic tub once again using what I have. I had everything in a yellow Ziploc baggy bag and I may put some of the new envelopes that I fold in that kind of thing again. We'll just see where it goes. So what else have we got? 39. And if I remember correctly, I did not put 39 in this before. I actually put 40 as a nice surprise to myself because I saw someone the other day doing the 100 envelope challenge on YouTube and could I remember what their channel name is? No, unfortunately not. Once I remember, I will try to tag them below. And they were adding more than just what the envelope said. And I was like, uh, that's amazing because who doesn't like surprises at the end? With the 100 envelope savings challenge, I believe what you're ending up with is either five or 10,000 at the end of all of the envelopes and to have some of them have a little bit more. <laughs> I mean, that's good for me. At the end then you don't really know what you have and it is kind of an adventure, especially if like me, you're not keeping track on a separate piece of paper. I had these envelopes done for some time and I was like, I'm not, doing it. Anyway, I'm pulling it out. I'm doing it now. So 
So we're gonna stick 21 in here. And I wonder if at some point I'll fold, fold more of these on camera. All right, 20. Another 20, and what, I have two envelopes left. I have three and four, which means I should have seven here. One, two, three, four. There's one raggedy $1 bill in here. We'll tuck that away. And then my last three. We'll tuck this away. So I suppose I should decide what I might want to save this money for. There's a couple things. I would like to get myself a professional camera. Right now I'm filming on my phone and that is working well. It's another example of using what you have. But I would really like to have a point and shoot so that I can use my phone for notes and not be stuck with having to rewrite all of my notes on paper. I don't have another phone that I can use. I am stuck with my phone. That's what I have. And this handy dandy little ring light, which is doing a fantastic job. I don't know how I'm going to move forward with my budgeting. I am going to move forward with it somehow. I feel like just having these notes doesn't really make a budget if I'm not also actually making sure the money goes these places. So that makes me think that maybe I'm a zero-based budgeting person and I need to have everything where it belongs. I used to have a spreadsheet that would basically act as a zero-based budget for me. Every paycheck I got, money was moved to different columns based on what that bill needed. And then the main total column was left with money that we actually had available for us to spend. And then when I paid a bill, that bill column would clear out because I took the money and I spent it on that. And I think that spreadsheet would work really well for me again. The other thing I'd like to talk about at some point is how I pay my bills on time. Because when my partner and I first merged our bills, there were occasional phone calls from collectors and late payments, and I refused to deal with that. And so I developed a method that started out with a page a day calendar. It was a month at a time, a month per page. I think the brand is page a day. And I would write on there and I just wanna go through that because that then morphed into what I do now and having all my bills listed on Google Calendar. I have a calendar just for my bills. What else is gonna come on this channel? I have another shelf I desperately need to clean off. I have my personal development journey that I kinda like to talk about. Someone was interested in what I have to say about Rachel Hollis, having gone to one of her events and thoughts on all of that. I would like to talk about, well, I want to keep showing progress for the 165 mile challenge. And unfortunately right now, it's not going as well as I'd like, but I haven't given up. And usually by now I've given up. So I would like to make more trackers or challenges like this. I actually am working on a tracker for the 165 mile challenge. I am looking forward to getting that done. So I have a visual way to represent what miles I've done. I can do some videos on that because while it's not exactly adulting, I mean training for life, I'm not training for a race, I'm not training for an event, but I am training for living the longest life I can possible. So I'm looking forward to giving more updates on that and not giving up on that particular event. And I feel like if I stop making myself accountable to others, I will give up on it. I think that's all I have for now. I am sorry that this isn't the fabulous, fantastic, awesome video that I had done yesterday. So in the future, we will see this guy again. We will put more money in him. We'll put gratitudes in with him. That was the other thing. I had like four fabulous gratitudes that I wrote down. And even though my challenge sheet has a place for me to write them on the back, did I do that? No, I did not. I could just choose four totally new gratitudes, but one of them was I am very grateful and thank you for everyone who subscribed and kind of seeing where this channel goes and developing with me. And I hope to get more kind of adulting content in there too. And just sort of a different twist than strictly how-to videos. I would like to do something funner 
you know, if you know, you know. I hope everyone has a great day. If you're not having a great day, I hope everyone's having a good day. And if you're not having a good day, I hope tomorrow is better and I will see you later. Bye.